Long time big horn lover here. The simplicity of the summoner job since the 6.0 Endwalker has become somewhat of a meme to many, but I personally like the rework and I love the aesthetic now, cycling through summoning different primals. Love it or hate it, it's a very personal view and I'm certainly not going to try to make out it's anything but simple. It is what it is. If you're looking for complexity, it may not be for you, but if very much like me, dealing with savage mechanics themselves is complexity enough without the added complications that other jobs bring, then you may just love it. I know my place in the world and it doesn't include mastery of black mage or monk. Saying that though, two years of summoner's linear nature is now taking its toll on me. I am on autopilot and very keen for new aspects to be added to Bighorn gameplay. Going back to the launch of the reworked Summer in 6.0, there was actually a positive sentiment that I heard frequently at the time, which upon reflection is causing me concern going into 7.0, aka Dawn Trail. That's the sentiment that 6.0 Summoner was a good foundation to build complexity onto in further expansions. I, however, am now concerned that in hindsight, this may not actually be the case and that the developers won't add anything of merit to the job in 7.0, disappointing many expecting a transformative experience upon the launch of the expansion. This is because it is possible that rather having built a great foundation for future expansions, I worry that Sumner actually has a very restrictive structure which is very difficult to make any meaningful changes to without a substantial overhaul. And I think it's fairly safe assumption that they won't do any substantial rework to how the job functions given we just had that happen in Endwalker. Now, by restrictive, I'm referring to the summoner's extremely linear rotation. Big summon on 60 second cooldown, followed by three smaller summons, which give or take a run three or four, take 60 seconds to cycle through, finishing as your big summon cools off cooldown. And that's effectively it. Restricting the rotation's design further is the developer's push on the group two minute buff windows. With the summoner rotations lining up so Bahamut, the more potent of its two big summons, cycles every two minutes in line with raid buffs. If you couple together the current linear design of the job and raid buffs with an assumption that the job won't fundamentally change, then I'm finding it difficult to see how 7.0 summon is going to be anything but a bit of a disappointment. So, what would the worst case disappointment look like to me? Let's assume, just for the sake of this discussion, that we get five additional traits or new abilities. Worst case to me, we basically get a trait which grants an additional Fester stack, a trait which gives us an extra shield or reduced shield cooldown, or slightly buffs our ray window, or a trait which potency buffs for our right attacks, etc, etc, etc. Essentially, no new buttons, just additional stacks of OGCD abilities, or current GCDs with change potency and or animations. Essentially meaning the job isn't built on or expanded from a gameplay perspective and remains exactly as it is today. But, alas, there is potentially a bigger evil. One that is so unfathomable, so unspeakable, that I do not want to entertain it as a possibility. But, when you think about summoner's linear nature, it begs the question of how. And that is, 7.0 arriving, with summoners around the world hitting level 100 to discover their biggest desire has not been realised, i.e. no new summon has been added to the job. Unspeakable. So, why do I raise it then? Why do I unfortunately think that may be a reality? It's down to how a new summon would be worked into the linear rotation. The obvious would be to replace Ifrit, Garuda and or Titan with different summons via a trait, this, although ticking the box, would feel a bit lame. I do actually like those guys. Otherwise, a few options could be 1. Add a new 4th lesser summon before Bahamut Phoenix comes up. Though very difficult, as you'll then have to rework all the abilities of the other summons to still fit within the 60 second window, with extending that window being a no-no as it will mess up the 2 minute raid buff window. 2. Add a third big summon, and the whole rotation takes 3 mins instead of 2. The problem with this being that Bahamut now won't line up with most of your raid buff windows. There is an unsavoury solution to that though. 
which is harmonization of the three big summons, giving them identical potencies. Which is a bit meh, but possibly I'm thinking the most likely update if we get a new summon. 3. Make an OGCD summon. It could work, though maybe a little clumsy, assuming you couldn't have two summons up at the same time. In the current state, you'd like to have to use the two-ish GCDs between Ifrit, Garuda or Titan disappearing and you using the next one. Saying that, multiple summons could be very cool, though infuriating for non-summoners who don't want to see our cute creatures everywhere on screen. But saying all that, I'm one player with limited creativity and no FF14 development expertise, so I'd love to hear other people's views in the comments on how they think or just hope that Summoner is changed and improved upon in 7.0. If one thing is for sure, it's that I'm very excited to find out. All done. Like and subscribe to complete the duty.